A platypus? Parry the platypus! Asian Welcome back everyone to another Minecraft mod showcase and in this showcase we're checking out the most requested mod I've ever had on my channel. It's the Alex's Mobs mod and this mod basically adds over 90 brand new mobs into your Minecraft world. So without further ado, let's get into it. Banana slug. Banana slugs will move very slowly. When they move, some slime will appear in a trail behind them. Banana slugs are capable of moving up and down the side of blocks, the blobfish. These gelatinous fish dwell in the deepest oceans. They undergo decompression and transform into a pink pile of sludge when under less than 10 blocks of water due to the high pressure in their natural environment. Combining four blobfish and a bottle creates fish oil granting levitation in water or rain. By providing them with a slime ball, these aquatic creatures can survive on land. Blue Jay Blue Jays are often seen flying around. They will attempt to eat any food item that has been dropped on the ground. If a Blue Jay is fed any type of seed, it will chirp a song which can reveal the location of nearby monsters. If a Blue Jay is fed some glowberries, it will begin to follow its feeder temporarily. During this time, glowberries can also be fed to a raccoon, which will then make the raccoon gain a blue jay, which will make it on its back until the raccoon attacks something, causing the blue jay to fight alongside it. The blue jay can be removed by feeding it glowberries again. I believe that the blue jay and raccoon combo is a reference to the TV show, regular show. Catfish. Catfish come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. The small and medium variants spawn in both rivers and swamps, while the large variant only spawns in swamps. Sea lanterns can be used to lure catfish if the player holds one. Small or medium catfish will store items inside their stomachs. Small catfish can only store three stacks of items, while medium catfish can store up to nine stacks. Large catfish won't store items and will instead store any small mobs that have a hitbox smaller than a full block. Large catfish can only store one mob inside their stomachs. Cockroach These subterranean insects flee from most interactions with either players or other mobs. However, they can be attracted with sugar or bread. Upon their death, they drop wing fragments which can be crafted into a full wing or brewed into a potion of bug pheromones. This potion allows the player to go undetected near any hostile arthropods. Shearing a cockroach or reducing its health to one will cause it to lose its head. Giving them maracas makes them dance, and if killed while dancing, there's a chance they will drop a sombrero. Comb jellies. Comb jellies can be easily spotted jumping out of the water of lukewarm oceans at nighttime. When they are slain, they can be combined with string to create boots that allow the wearer to leap out of water like a flying fish. Devil's Hole Pupfish The Devil's Hole Chunk is the location where Devil's Hole Pupfish can spawn. Only one Devil's Hole Chunk can appear per world, and the only way to locate them is by using a strange fish finder. The chunk itself is usually located in either desert or badlands biomes, and it is always underground and has to be in a water source. Devil's Hole pupfish are often seen chasing each other around and are even capable of quickly reproducing if there are two Devil's Hole pupfish in the same location. Flies These are flying insects found in almost every biome in the overworld. They are normally passive but will attack zombies, spiders and cave spiders. These insects drop maggots upon their death. When they enter a crimson biome in the nether, they transform into crimson mosquitoes. Flying fish Occasionally, flying fish can be seen breaching the water surface to glide. Flying fish can be collected with a water bucket to obtain a bucket of flying fish. The gazelle Grazing in herds native to savannas, the gazelle exhibits a remarkable speed. When attacked, the entire group swiftly flees. These animals are sought after for their precious horns, which can be brewed into a potion of speed 3. Hummingbirds The smallest birds in existence can be found in jungles, meadows, flower forests, and sunflower biomes. Craft a hummingbird feeder, 
fill it with water and sugar, and it will attract these small birds while boosting the effect of their pollination. Jerboa. Jerboa is a small nocturnal animal which resides in desert biomes. Despite being prey to many, Jerboa will beg players for seeds. If given a few seeds, it rewards the player with the fleet-footed effect, granting a speed bonus when running and jumping simultaneously. Maned Wolf Maned wolves, found only in savanna biomes, have a fondness for apples. When they have been fed an apple, they shake their fur, releasing a toxic smell that attracts other animals to the area. This smell also increases the production of fungus in anthills. Mudskipper Mudskippers are semi-aquatic and can survive in both land and water. If two mudskippers meet, they will raise their pelvic fins and circle each other in order to establish their dominance. Mudskippers can be collected with a water bucket to obtain a bucket of mudskipper. And mudskippers can be tamed by feeding them lobster tails. The mudskipper will aid its owner in a fight by shooting balls of mud that can inflict slowness and deal some damage to the target. Mimic Octopus The Mimic Octopus is a curious creature that inhabits warm oceans. Being prey to many, it uses regeneration and its ability to adapt to the environment to survive. These creatures can be tamed with a few lobster tails and can be commanded to sit, wander, or follow. They will transform into a monster shape to scare off attackers. Interacting with various items can change the behavior of the pet. With mimicry, the octopus can learn how to use the abilities of the other forms it takes. A mimic octopus will follow its owner onto land and can survive on dry surfaces if given a slime ball. Pot twos. Potus rarely do anything during the day, they will perch on a tree and sleep throughout the day. During the nighttime, they are a bit more active and will remain on their perch, only leaving to catch any flies that get close. Potus can be moved around using a falconry glove. Rainfrog Rainfrogs are often seen buried in sand blocks. They can only emerge if it's raining, if they get attacked, or if a shovel is used to dig them out. If attacked, rain frogs will puff up and emit a loud squeaking sound. Jukeboxes that are playing music will make any nearby rain frogs start dancing, and after enough time has passed with them dancing, it will start raining. The Roadrunner In deserts and badlands, a medium-sized bird known as the Roadrunner hunts down little snakes with its feathers. Players can create shoes from these feathers, allowing them to move faster on sand. Renaming a Roadrunner to Meep will transform it into the Roadrunner from Looney Tune. As a reference to the cartoon series, Roadrunners are also immune to damage from anvils. Seagulls are pesky flying animals found on beaches. They tend to steal food items from adventurers. However, they can be helpful when the player holds a buried treasure map in their offhand. If a lobster tail is dropped, the seagull will eat it and glide directly above the spot where the buried treasure is located. Renaming a seagull to Wingull is a reference to the Pokemon Wingle. Seal Seals can be found basking in the sun on beaches and icebergs. Their only predator is the Orca, as they are unable to outrun them. If attacked, the entire pod of seals will try to flee into the water. Players can feed seals three fish to trade with them, and in exchange for the fish, the seals will search for the seabed items, which usually consist of worthless junk, However, there is a small chance that the seal will bring back valuable items such as shark teeth, scutes, or thyme, or possibly a music disc. Shoebills Shoebills are found within swamps and they are very skilled at catching their favorite prey, which is fish. Feeding them crocodile eggs increases their lure effect, while terrapin eggs improves their luck. Sugar glider Sugar gliders mostly walk, but will occasionally use their winged arms to glide. They have the ability to climb walls and they can be tamed by feeding them sweet berry. Tamed sugar gliders can be placed on the player's head by shift right clicking and this will cause the sugar glider to give its owner slow falling. Terrapin Terrapins inhabit river biomes. Players can jump on these creatures causing them to retreat into their shells and spin in the direction of the jumper upon a second jump. Reading them can create many different color patterns that won't appear in nature. Renaming a terrapin to Koopa changes its texture to a Koopa from the Mario franchise. Toucans Toucans are colorful birds which call the trees of the jungles their home. They come in a variety of color patterns and they love devouring fruits. 
Feeding them apples or bananas gives these animals a chance to plant the associated sapling. Golden apples can manipulate this ability. The normal version increases the sapling planting rate, while the enchanted apple doesn't require constant feeding to the plant saplings. Renaming a toucan to Sam gives it a special colorful skin. Triops. Triops can only live in water and will slowly die if on land for too long. Triops can be collected with a water bucket to obtain a bucket of Triops. Cosmic Cod. In the space between the void and the end islands, schools of cosmic cod frequently float around, often being attacked by cosmos. If a member of the school is attacked, the entire pack will attempt to teleport away. These cosmic cod can be captured using a bucket. The Endergrade. The Endergrade is a passive flying creature that has made its home in the end. Commonly found in chorus forests, the player can control them using a chorus on a stick. Endergrades are very slow mounts, and to lure them, one must hold a chorus fruit. Flutter The Flutter is a small passive creature which resides in the lush caves. They can be tamed with a variety of flowers, providing them with a flower pot offers additional armor. Flutter can also be picked up, and when they are bred near azalea bushes, they have a chance to make them blossom. Leviathan Gigantic reptiles found within the lava lakes have a first sim appearance, but they are completely passive. Although they love to hunt crimson mosquitoes by luring them with the smoke on their back and snapping them in with their beaks, they pose no threat to players. These creatures can be ridden if equipped with a stradalite saddle and a stradalite tack. Up to four players can ride on this beast. And when it's exposed to water, these creatures solidify and transform into a stronger obsidian form and they can be healed with magma cream. Mungus. Mungus roam in the mushroom fields. Occasionally, mushrooms can grow on their head. If given the same fungus that adorns them, the mungus will fire a magic beam at a nearby mushroom of the same type, either causing it to grow further or creating a giant mushroom when on mycelium. When a player slays a mungus with five mushrooms on its back, an explosion occurs. Vector. Spectre is a passive flying entity that generally shows no interest in players. However, if an adventurer holds a soul heart, the spectre will gladly follow. Stradpole. The shallow lava pools of the basalt delta are home to the immature larva of the straddler mob. These passive stradpoles serve as ammunition for their parents to throw when they're defending their territory. Stradpoles can be fed mosquito larva to facilitate their growth into straddlers. Anteater. The anteater is a big insectivorous mammal that roams in jungles to feed on leafcutter ants with their long tongues. Baby anteaters may ride on the back of an adult. If an anteater is named Peter or Peter the anteater, then it will gain a uniform based off of the university mascot of the same name. Bald Eagle Bald eagles are predatory birds that soar in windswept forests and in groves in search of small prey and fish. Bald eagles can attack these mobs by lifting them from the ground or water and killing them in midair. Tamed bald eagles can be picked up by using a falconry glove which will put the bald eagle onto the player's hand. Left clicking afterwards or changing the item in the hotbar to something else will cause the bald eagle to come off. Left clicking while facing at another entity will instead cause the bald eagle to attack that entity. Bison Bison are large but territorial. Herbivorous mammals that graze in flat plains and can be sheared for their fur. Bison will also fight themselves, although this usually doesn't result in death. If a bison ends up in snowy weather, its pelt will become coated with snow. The snow can be removed by using a shovel on a bison, or if a bison ends up in water, rain, or a hot biome. Cacolot Whale These are enormous cetaceans found swimming in most oceans which use their echolocation to hunt squid. Cacolot whales use echolocation with sounds of rapid clicking to detect nearby squid, glow squid, mimic octopus, or giant squid. If a cacolot whale has an encounter with a giant squid, a fight between the two mobs will initiate. An albino white variant can rarely be found. It has red eyes instead of the regular black and white eyes. These variants have increased health. Cayman These are small crocodilians that live exclusively in mangrove swamps. Caimans are semi-aquatic and can survive both in water and on land. Caimans can be tamed by having the player be near caiman eggs as soon as the crocodilian hatches. Capuchin Monkey 
These are small monkeys that live in groups and can defend themselves by throwing rocks. They will attack by throwing cobblestone at their target when threatened. Shift right clicking on a tamed capuchin monkey will cause it to ride on its owner's shoulder. Elephant Elephants are gigantic mammals that majestically roam in the savannas in search of acacia blossoms. If one elephant is attacked, the rest of the herd will come to its defense. Each herd is led by a leader elephant, which can also charge at the target. Elephants will also run away from bees. Emu Emus are big, flightless birds that roam savannas and badlands. They are very good at dodging ranged attacks. If a projectile is shot at an emu, then it will dodge it to avoid being hit, meaning that it's really hard to kill emus with ranged weapons. Emus will also attack any mob that is normally holding a bow or crossbow, which includes skeletons and pillagers. Grilled Shark These are small sharks that have mouths filled with incredibly jagged but shiny teeth to hunt prey in the deepest oceans. Grill sharks will attack squid or glow squid by using its reflective teeth to catch their attention. If a frilled shark is named Kamata Kun, then it will gain a yellow texture based off of the monster of the same name from Godzilla's franchise. Galada Monkey These are territorial primates that roam meadows in groups and feed exclusively on grass. Each group is led by a leader Galada Monkey. The leader Galada monkeys will also fight each other, although this usually doesn't result in death, as the losing monkey will leave before they die. If a Galada monkey is fed wheat, it will begin to destroy any tall grass it finds for a few minutes. Giant Squid These are enormous squid that lurk in the deepest oceans and catch prey using their tentacles. Giant squid will attack guardians, fish, or threats using their tentacles. The giant squid texture will become paler depending on how close they are to the water surface. Because of this, giant squid will always avoid getting near the surface. If a cacolot whale detects a giant squid using echolocation, then the two will start a battle. Gorilla Gorillas are big, strong apes that live in groups commanded by silverbacks in the jungle. Silverback gorillas can deal more damage than the standard ones. Gorillas can often be seen tearing the leaves off of jungle trees so that they can eat them. Gorillas named either Harambe, Donkey Kong, or Funky Kong will have a special skin. Kangaroo these are big marsupials that have super powerful legs used for movement and defense. Baby kangaroos can sometimes be seen inside an adult kangaroo's pouch. A tamed kangaroo's owner can shift right click to open up the kangaroo's pouch, which is used as a storage unit. If a melee weapon, a helmet, or a chest plate is placed inside the pouch, then the kangaroo will equip them. It is also capable of using these in combat. Leafcutter Ant These are hardworking ants that live in huge colonies to collect leaves. Leafcutter ants will fight back if the player attacks one, or if an entity stomps on or destroys their leafcutter antil. Workers are the common small ants that are often seen around leaves, and these ones are capable of climbing on the sides of blocks. Queens are a large leafcutter ant that controls the colony. They can only appear if a player stomps on an occupied leafcutter antil. Lobster these are crustaceans that live in coastal waters near beaches. They pinch attackers as their defense. Lobsters can be collected with a water bucket to obtain a bucket of lobster. Lobsters placed from a bucket do not despawn naturally. They have four common variants of red, blue, red, blue, and yellow, and two extremely rare variants, white and black. Mantis shrimp. These are big, colorful crustaceans that hunt prey using their extremely powerful fists, which can break rock. Mantis shrimps will attack mobs such as tropical fish, squid, glow squid, mimic octopus, guardians, and even shulkers. It is possible to give an item to a tame mantis shrimp by sneak right clicking, and the mantis shrimp will begin holding the item. If this item is a block, then a mantis shrimp can be put into the breaking blocks mode, which will then make them search for the block they are holding. Once they find that block, the mantis shrimp will begin breaking it using their fists. Moose These are massive herbivores that are often seen fighting each other in snowy biomes. Moose will lose their antlers every 7 to 10 days, but these will eventually regrow after 3 to 5 days. Moose will defend themselves from wolves. Orca Orcas are large predatory animals that hunt in groups in cold and frozen oceans. They are feared by even the largest of sea dwellers. Orcas hunt in groups and will prey on a large amount of aquatic mobs which include salmon, seals, turtles, drowned, guardians, baby cacolot whales, polar bears, and even moose. 
If the player swims with an orca for long enough, then they may receive the orca's might effect. Raccoon. These are adorable but annoying mammals that frequently live in forests and plain biomes. If a raccoon obtains a food item, it will proceed to hold it in its mouth until it finds a water source where it will proceed to wash the food before eating it. Carpets of any color can be placed on a tamed raccoon for decoration. Naming a raccoon Rigby will give it a skin based off of the character of the same name in the TV series regular show. Snow Leopard These are skilled hunters that wander the snowy mountains and peaks in search of a meal. When a snow leopard kills its prey, it has a looting effect on the mob's drops, meaning that any dropped item that is affected by looting will have its amount increased when a snow leopard kills it. Tasmanian Devil these are devilish marsupials that live in temperate forests and hunt small prey using strong teeth. Tasmanian devils can chew drop bones to transform them into several pieces of bone meal. A Tasmanian devil can be fed rotten flesh to give it red eyes and make it howl. Doing so will cause any nearby hostile mobs to run away. And now moving on to the fantasy mobs. Bun fungus. These are mutated fungal rabbits that can be seen hopping around in mushroom fields on occasion. Bun fungus will sleep during the day, but at the night they will be awake and begin hunting any monsters they come across. Bun fungus can be pacified if a player feeds one a carrot, which will make bun fungus completely passive towards whoever fed it. Cosmo. These are unusual flying creatures that have evaded classification. They live in the end to hunt cosmic cod. Tamed Cosmos cannot attack mobs with the exception of the Cosmic Cod. If their owner falls into the void, the Tamed Cosmo will attempt to save them and fly them to the nearest island. Tarantula Hawk These are big but agile parasitic wasps that fly around in deserts to hunt spiders. Tarantula Hawks will regularly attack spiders by stinging them once with the debilitating sting effect causing the spider to be paralyzed. If a Tarantula Hawk grub spawned in the nether, then it will take on a nether variant when it grows up. Underminer. These are ancient ghosts of former miners that inhabit abandoned mineshafts. Underminers are incorporeal and are capable of walking through blocks. If a specific ore block is dropped near an underminer, they will cease being invisible and will search for that ore. If they find one hidden behind blocks, then they will mine the blocks, which can reveal where that ore is located. Warp Toad. A fungal amphibian that hops and swims in warp forests to look for crimson mosquitoes. Warp toads are capable of walking on land, along with swimming in water and lava. Warp toads will also attack all small and medium insects like mobs, with the exception of the bee. If the mob is a fly or crimson mosquito, then the warp toad will swallow them whole. If a warp toad is named Pepe, then it will gain a tuxedo along with a texture resembling the Pepe the Frog meme. Alligator Snapping Turtle These big freshwater turtles defend themselves with their sharp beaks. Alligator Snapping Turtles will attack if they are closely approached by the player, or if the player attacks one. Moss will often start to build up on an Alligator Snapping Turtle if they have spent a lot of time in water for too long. If they are mossy, they can be sheared to obtain seagrass, or on rarer occasions, spiked scutes. Grizzly Bear these are big defensive furry animals that roam in forests with their cubs and they love to eat honey. They will only attack if either them or their babies are closely approached or if the player attacks them from afar. Grizzly bears will tear through bee nests or beehives filled with honey to obtain the honeycombs inside. Grizzly bears that have eaten honey will become neutral towards the player and no longer attack when approached. Tamed grizzly bears can be ridden by the player. Any mobs that try to attack the player will fail because of the grizzly bear's height. Platypus These creatures have poisonous spurs on their feet to use for their defense. If a platypus is fed redstone, it will begin to rapidly rotate its head whilst releasing electric particles. The platypus will then begin searching for nearby clay blocks. Once it has found one, the platypus will start digging and will dig out several clay balls and maggots. Naming a platypus Perry will give it a skin based off of the character of the same name in the TV series Phineas and Ferb. Rattlesnake These are small reptiles that warn potential attackers by rattling their tail. If this warning is ignored, they will attack by biting once at their target, inflicting poison in the process. Rhinoceros 
These are strong and tough herbivores that can be found grazing in savannas. Rhinoceros can be pacified if a player feeds one wheat, which will make the rhinoceros neutral towards whoever fed it. The pacified rhinoceros will also come to the defense of its feeder, and they will often stay near a village if it manages to find one. Skunk These are forest creatures that release a foul smell if they are threatened. They will defend themselves by spraying a noxious gas towards their target, which will apply the nausea effect. Some of this gas can also attach to blocks. The gas that's attached to the blocks can be bottled to obtain a stink in a bottle. Now moving on to the fantasy defensive mobs. Enderiophage. These are biochemical viruses that roam the end in search of endergrades to exterminate with their ender flu disease. They are capable of flying by shooting out DNA particles which can propel them forwards. They can be built by placing an end rod with a capsid containing an eye of ender at the top. If one is built in the overworld or the nether, it will take on a variant exclusive to that dimension. Screecher These are bizarre mutated primates native to the deep dark. They will scream if they sight a player, causing a warden to appear. They are classified as defensive because when they attack, they won't actually attack and will instead make a lot of loud monkey noises and clapping loudly with their symbol arms which can summon a warden. Screechers can only summon a warden if they are in the deep dark biome. If they do it anywhere else, then a warden cannot appear. Even though these mobs summon wardens, the wardens will still attack them anyway. Sunbird These are holy birds that soar above the tallest mountains and can give a player a blessing if they are close, or a curse if they attack it. If a player gets near a sunbird without attacking, then the sunbird will grant the player the sunbird's blessing effect. If a sunbird gets near any undead mobs that are not immune to fire, then the sunbird will create a sun effect that can set the undead targets on fire. Sunbirds are inspired by the Pokemon Ho-Oh. Anaconda These are large freshwater snakes that slither around in swamps to find prey to strangle and swallow whole. Anacondas will attack by squeezing the target with its body before swallowing its victim whole. If it swallows three large entities, then it may drop some shed snakeskin. Anacondas can be pacified by being fed raw chicken. When done, the anaconda will become neutral towards its pacifier. Crocodile These are big semi-aquatic reptiles that hunt prey using a death roll attack. They will usually attack unless the crocodile was spawned from a crocodile egg and the nearest entity upon spawn was the player. Crocodiles will attack by biting their target with their jaws, then dragging them into water where they proceed to do a death roll to damage their target. Crocodiles that hatch in the desert will take on a paler color scheme. Hammerhead Shark These are strange sharks that swim in warm oceans to hunt for fish, squid, or any damaged entity. They will only attack if the player has been injured or if the player themselves attack one. Hammerhead sharks will hunt by encircling the target for a while before dashing towards it and dealing damage using its teeth. Komodo dragon These are cannibalistic reptiles that inhabit sparse jungles in search of prey. Komodo dragons can often be seen wrestling other Komodo dragons that haven't been weakened. This is when the two will stand on their hind legs and start pushing each other. Komodo dragons can be tamed by feeding them entire stacks of rotten flesh. If a Komodo dragon is named Koda, or Maid, then it will wear a Maid's outfit. Tiger These are extremely powerful predators that hunt by turning almost invisible and striking at the best possible moment. They will attack suddenly by jumping towards the player at speed, causing the victim to be inflicted with the scared still effect before attacking with their claws. Before attacking, they will turn almost completely invisible, the only visible parts are their red eyes. They also have the ability to walk through leaf blocks. And tigers that have been fed, any kind of meat will grant their feeder the tiger's blessing effect. If the player has this effect, then any tigers the players encounter will be neutral. Now moving on to the fantasy placetable mobs. Bone Serpent These are undead serpents that lurk in lava licks around the nether. Once they spot a target, they will jump out and attack. They will attack unless the player is wearing an unsettling kimono, or is riding a straddleboard enchanted with Serpent Charmer. Bone Serpents attack by jumping out of lava and either landing on top of their target or biting their target with their jaws. Cave Centipede 
These are massive subterranean bugs that lurk in caves. They can be found in caves beneath Y level 0. They will attack unless the player has the bug pheromones effect. Crimson Mosquito These monstrous insects fly around crimson forests in search of blood to feast on. They will usually attack unless the player has either the bug pheromones or mosquito repellent effects. Crimson mosquitoes will only attack warm-blooded animals. Frost Stalker These are icy reptiles that roam the ice spikes biome and the frozen peaks biome in search of their favorite prey, Tusklins. If a frost walker enters a warm biome, then it will be inflicted with weakness and their spikes will melt off. Frost walkers can be pacified by players if they are wearing a frost stalker helmet. Pacified frost stalkers will begin to follow the player and will even come to their aid if they get attacked. Skellywag Aggressive undead fish that patrol shipwrecks and attack by slashing with their sharp nose. They will attack any nearby player unless that player is wearing an unsettling kimono. And they will attack by launching themselves at their target. They will also attack dolphins. Soul Vulture These are terrifying undead birds that attack using a devastating soul steal ability. They can only land on bone blocks. Upon damaging their target, the Soul Vulture will sap the health from its target and heal for the amount of damage that they dealt. Soul Vultures will target piglins and piglin brutes, and Soul Vultures are also prey to bone serpents and can be seen getting attacked by them. Tusklin these are ancient overworld relatives of the Hoglins, and they can be fiercely territorial. They will attack in a similar way to Hoglins in that they will use their tusks to gore their target. If their target is running away, then the Tusklin tends to give up chasing them quite early unless they are a Froststalker. Regardless of whether or not it has been pacified, if a player uses a saddle on a Tusklin, then the player can ride on it, although this can only be done for a short time as the Tusklin will soon buck its rider off. The riding time can be increased if the Tusklin is wearing ancient hog shoes. Drop Bear These are terrifying marsupials that attack by walking on the ceiling using their long and sharp claws and then jumping down. If any entity the Drop Bear targets comes underneath the blocks the Drop Bear is climbing on, the Drop Bear will jump down and attack. If the Drop Bear lands on its target, it can deal damage. Farseer these are dangerous interdimensional monsters found at the world border of any dimension. Due to how far away they live, the only way to reach them is by using a shattered dimensional carver multiple times in one direction. Sometimes they will shoot a beam out of their eye. If this beam touches the player, then they die instantly. Farseers will tear open portals similar to the Void Worm and use the portal to easily reach players they cannot get to normally. Guster these are terrifying desert spirits made up of sand that attack by shooting sand and can also launch mobs away. They can also pull up nearby mobs and spin them up into the air before they fall back down and take damage. Gusters can be damaged by water. If a guster is named Twister, then its texture will revert to standard and it will have some googly eyes. This is a reference to the Paper Mario enemy of the same name. Mimikube these are strange gelatinous blobs made of mimicry that can copy an attacker's weapons. If the player is holding a weapon or wearing a helmet, then attacks a Mimikube, the Mimikube will copy the weapon and or helmet and start using them in battle. Mimikubes can also copy food and will also start using the food to heal themselves. The amount of food they have depends on the amount of food the player was holding at the time of the attack. Murmur these are tortured undead souls with extendable necks that live in the deepest of caves. They will attack by extending their neck which has a reach of 50 blocks and the head will then bite its target which can deal a lot of damage. Rocky Roller These are tough monsters that inhabit dripstone caves and attack by rolling their prey, injuring them in the process. If a rocky roller falls and lands on the ground during a roll, then any nearby players will receive the earthquake effect for 2 seconds. Rocky Rollers have a lot of armor points and are capable of tanking a lot of damage. Straddler These are aggressive giant and monstrous relatives of the Strider that stroll around on basalt deltas and attack potential threats by launching stradpoles at them. Straddlers are also capable of walking on lava, just like the Strider, but unlike Striders, the Straddlers can also walk on water. 
So the mini boss of this mod is the Warped Moscow. This is an aggressive mutated crimson mosquito that is created whenever they attack Among Us coated with warped fungi. And the boss in this mod is the Void Worm. This is an enormous interdimensional monster that can be summoned by throwing a mysterious worm into the end's void. And finally, we have the joke mob of the mod, the Sea Bear. This is a mob that can only be summoned using super secret settings. It resembles a grizzly bear, but also has a fish body and it cannot survive on land. Sea bears can be summoned if the player wears a sombrero while standing in an ocean biome, while the super secret settings are enabled in the config. Afterwards, a sea bear will then spawn. If super secret settings are still enabled, the player can throw sticks on a sand block before interacting with them. This will create an anti sea bear circle, which prevents sea bears from attacking whoever is inside the circle. Sea bears are based entirely from the sea bears in the SpongeBob SquarePants episode, the camping episode. And that will do it for the showcase on the Alex's Mobs mod. I would like to thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop it a like. And also, if you could subscribe, that would be fantastic too. As always, the mod is available to download down in the description. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.